Hello, I'm going to demonstrate Newton's first law of motion. Newton's first law can be stated when the net force on an object is zero, the velocity of that object remains constant. Or if the object is at rest, it'll remain at rest. If the object is moving, the object will move with constant velocity in the absence of a net force. Let's first of all start with this car on this air track surface. And I'll give the car a push, giving it an initial velocity, and we'll watch what happens. We observe the car to slide to a stop, and of course we know that's because there's a friction force retarding the motion. But what happens if we turn off the friction by turning on the air? Now I have air coming up through some holes in this surface. That allows this car to float on that cushion of air, and the car then is essentially friction-free as it slides along the surface. Now when I give it a given velocity, that velocity is maintained and the motion is constant until a force acts to change the motion. Moving back in the other direction, the velocity is constant until a force is applied to it. In the absence of a force, the velocity remains constant. Or if the object is at rest, to start with, that object will remain at rest until a force is applied to change the motion. Newton's first law.